এবং এই বছর ভাগ্য খুব ভালো হয়েছে মহারাজ উপস্থিত আছেন কলকাতার রাতিয়া অনুষ্ঠানের জন্য উনি সকালে এই সময় আলোচনা করেন এবং সন্ধ্যায় বেলায়ও মহারাজ উপস্থিত থাকেন এবং জগন্নাথের কথা শ্রী চৈতন্য কথা আলোচনা করেন উপস্থিত আছেন পূজাপাত শিলা ভক্তি বিঘ্নমেনাশ নরসিমহা মহারাজ ইস্কনের পরিব্রাজক আচার্য সন্ন্যাসী এবং দীক্ষা গুরু হরে কৃষ্ণ Jai Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Janabalabha Girid Bardhari Gopi Janabalabha ভানবালাভান ব্রজ জান রঞ্জন যশোদানন্দন ব্রজ জান রঞ্জন যমুন চিরাভন চি যমুন চিরাভন চি Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Gopi Jana Bala Bha Kirit Bardhari Gopi Jana Bala Bha Kirit Bardhari যশোদানন্দন ব্রজ জান রঞ্জন যশোদানন্দন ব্রজ জান রঞ্জন যমুন চিরাভন চি যমুন চিরাভন চি হরে কৃষ্ণ হরে কৃষ্ণ 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 হরে হরে 
हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नेताय गौर हरि बो हरि बो हरि बो नेताय गौर हरि बो जय जय प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद प्रभु पाद जय जय प्रभु पाद गौर प्रेम नंदे ओम नमो भागवते वसुदेवाया ओम नमो भागवते वसुदेवाया ओम नमो भागवते वसुदेवाया नारायणम नमस्कृत नर चरोतम दैवी सरस्वती व्यास तय मुधीर नष्टप्रयेशु वभद्रेशु नित्यम भागवत से भया भागवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्ट की So we are having the opportunity to speak on the glories of Shrimad Bhagavatam. Amra shubida peechi Bhagavatir mohima shamande alochna kora. Sri Lord Prabhupada was so much attached to Shrimad Bhagavatam, he would wake up in the middle of the night to write his purport. Prabhupad Bhagavat emon ashakto chilo oni dupor ratre gunte ke uthe uthe chen Bhagavat likte. How many of us could do that? Amade modde kotho jon kotha parben. Wake up at midnight 
and then to begin to write. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur also used to live his life something like that. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur o e dharane jivan japan kotten. He would he was working of course he was a government service as a a judge in, Un, for example in Jagannath Puri for some time. Uni ek jon shokar er uh, officer chilen Jagannath Puri te boro ekta bichar chakri chilo. Later on he came to Krishna Nagar then he moved over to Swarup Ganj. Bicharok, government of Bicharok. Tapo oni Krishna Nagar eshe chen tapo Swarup Ganj e uposhtit hoye chen. And he would be working in the daytime. He'd come home at night, take his evening meal, and then he would take rest. Dine opishe kaj kore, shondai belai barite eshe prashad peye tapo bisram koten. So he would take rest about seven o'clock in the evening, and then he would wake up about midnight. Ratre shatai shayan kore. And then he would use that time from midnight up until morning time, up to daybreak. He used that time for his writing. So in this way, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur was able to write many wonderful songs and many wonderful books also. Books like Jaiva Dharma and Chaitanya Shikshamrita Jaiva Dharma, Sri Chaitanya Shikshamrita as well as song books like Sharanagati Sharanagati the Navadvip Mahatmya. Navadvip Mahatmya. Many Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote many volumes of books. Bahut Granto Likichin Thakur Bhaktivinoda. And we know Srila Prabhupada also accomplished within a short time to produce many volumes of books. Srila Prabhupada, oh, Alpa Koek Bachur Madde, One Granto Likichin. Srila Prabhupada was initially writing articles. Pratame, Prabhupada Ponjika Jonna article Likdin. But then someone suggested to him that you're writing these articles, why don't you write a book? Ekjon Prabhupada K. Bolachin Abni Eidarne Choto Essay Likchin Kenona Borokranta Likbin. Articles in your newspaper and in pamphlets, they will easily be lost. But if you write in the form of a book, then people will keep the books. Newspaper, ebong shamachar moto, oigulo beshi din thakena, jodi apni borogranta likbin, oneg din thakbin. So Srila Prabhupada considered this and he thought this is a very good suggestion. Prabhupada, a so he began to write his purports to the Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam was a very favorite literature of Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada Priya Granto Srimad Bhagavat. And when Prabhupada would travel the world with him, he would take with him his book of the different uh, commentaries of all the various acharyas on Srimad Bhagavatam. Srila Prabhupada Jokon Shara Prithibi Brahman Kot Ten Tokon O Shate Uni Rakten Shamoshta Vaishnava Acharya De Bhagavat Tika. And in this way, Srila Prabhupada would be able to write his purports guided by the previous acharyas. Purva acharya der kota onu share prabhupad tad poja bhagavad tad poja likten. We say yasya deve para bhaktir yata deve tata guru tashaiti prakitahi arta prakashanti mahatmanaha. 
unto those great souls who have faith in both Lord Krishna and in the spiritual master, then all of the imports of the revealed scriptures will be revealed. Jada Shampono Bishash Bhagawan Ebong Guru Daiber Tader Proti Shamoshta Bed Shidanto Prakashito Hon. So in this way, Srila Prabhupada was giving credit and recognizing the authority of the previous Acharyas. At the same time, Srila Prabhupada had to make this Srimad Bhagavatam commentary understandable by ordinary people like myself. Srila Prabhupada wrote books in a manner which could be understood by people. Prabhupada Lekha Ashtayo Shadaran Manush Der Bujte Parin. We know some people are scholars and they write their presentations on a very high level which is very difficult to understand. And but Srila Prabhupada had the ability to present the highest knowledge in the simplest way. So, one of Prabhupada's god brothers was actually trying to minimize Prabhupada one day. He, he did not so much appreciate Prabhupada's work. Prabhupada ek jan guru bhai ek bar Prabhupada ke ashamalo chan kotten. And he said he has brought the highest thing to the lowest level. The highest thing being the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. For example, his teaching on Srimad Bhagavatam. And he brought it, he was saying he brought it to the lowest level by teaching it to people who were from outside the Vedic culture, who were just simply materialistic people interested in sense gratification. J. Prabhupada, Bhog Bari there, Shadaran Manush there, Papi Odham there, only Bhagavad Bhakti Shikaiten. We know Srila Prabhupada was preaching to many young people in the Western world. People who had no knowledge of Vedic culture. Jada Ogyan Obidda Ebong Vedic Shankshkriti Shamande Kichui Janten Na. But Prabhupada was making this Vedic knowledge available to them. This is described in Srimad Bhagavatam. There's a very wonderful verse which is spoken by Srila Sukadeva Goswami. Sukadeva Goswami Kub Ashtadja Shlok Bolchen. Sukadeva Goswami, we know to be the son of Srila Vyasadev. He had heard Srimad Bhagavatam from his father, Srila Vyasadev. Sukadeva Goswami, Hoche Vyasadev, Putra, Ebong Vyasadev, Srimuk Teke, Bhagavat Shunichin. So, in uh, the second canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, we have uh, Maharaj Parikshit is eager to hear about the process of creation. Dityo Shkondai Bhagavate Purikit Maharaj Sristi Tattu Shamande Shunte Agrahi. 
Maharaj Parikshit requests Sukadeva Goswami to speak on that topic of creation. Ebang Raja Purikit Shukdev Goswami ke ei shamande alochana kote onurad koten. So before speaking on the subject, Sukadeva Goswami first of all offers prayers. Ei bishoy shamande alochanar age Shukdev Goswami kichu stuti koten. Just like I myself recited a couple of slokas here today. Jebabe ami Bhagavat alochana age koekti shumongol slok ucharon korlam. I was saying, let us first, uh, before reciting, before reciting the Srimad Bhagavatam, let us first of all offer our respectful obeisances unto the Supreme Personality of Godhead, unto Nara Narayan Rishi, the supermost human being, unto Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, and unto Srila Vyasadev, the author. Bhagavatar Pat Kora Age, Amra Bias Muni, Mashara Shoti, Ebong, Naranarain Rishike, Amra, Dandavat Pranati Janai. And then I recited another verse describing the power of hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. Tapo Arakta Shlok Ucharan Kolam, She Shlok Bonanohache, Bhagavate Shraban Kora Mohima. Where Sutta Goswami says, Sutta Goswami, the son of Romaharsha and Sutta, said, By regularly hearing Srimad Bhagavatam and rendering service unto the pure devotees, all that is inauspicious within the heart of the candidate becomes eradicated almost to nil, and loving service unto the glorious Lord who is praised by transcendental songs becomes established as an irrevocable fact. Shukdev Sutta Goswami, Ramahashaner Putra, Oni Shlok Palchen, Je Niyamita Babe, Bhagavat, Sraban Korele, Shamoshta Kollush Ridoye, Pavitra Hoye Jai, Ebong Bhagavat Bhakti. Bhagavan Bhab Ridoye Bhakti Bhab Ridoye Nishchoy Babe Stapan Kora Hoy. So in our ISKCON society, it's customary practice. We will recite these two verses before speaking on Srimad Bhagavatam. The Ishkone Amade Shamaje Bhagavate Alochaner Age E Dutta Shlok Ucharan Kora Hoy. However, Sukadeva Goswami, when he was requested to speak on the subject matter of creation, he also he first of all offered his prayers. Jokan Shukdev Goswami, Shristi Tattva Shamande, Alochana Kote Shuru Korchen, Tokan E Shtuti Korlen. And I will recite the one prayer because I think it's very relevant to all of us. Ebang ay shlok ami bolbo karan ami babchi amade jon shabai kub upujukto. The shlok goes: Kirita hunandra pulinda pukasha abira shumba yavana kasha daya yenye chapapa yada pasraya shraya sujanti tasmai prabha vishnave namaha. Sukadeva Goswami is describing the names of different races who are all accustomed to sinful activities. Sukadeva Goswami only born in a kitchen, but being a jati, jara shab odham potit. He begins by first of all saying kirita, and kirita, we're told this is actually referring to the African race. Kirata mani bone taken adibashi. And then he mentions other races. Kirita Hunandra. Hans Han Hun the two races mentioned. There's Hans and the Andras. So Hans is the European races. Hans Mani Jala Europe. Look. Right? We would say sometimes we say Caucasian. I'm often described as being Caucasian. 
<laughs> Caucasian, many Shada Chamra, Europe, Shada Chamra, white skin. <laughs> so, Kakeik, and then Andhra, Pulinda, Pokesha, different parts of Bharat Vars are mentioned. Bharat Bhumiyo, Bibina Jaiga, Andhra, Pulinda, Pokesha. And at the very end, he said, Kash Adaya, Kash, Kasha Desh. Kasha Desh, generally, we talk about that refers to the, what is today known as China. Kasha, Kasha Desh, Hoche, Chin Desh. So Sukadeva Goswami mentions all of these different races and says they can all be delivered by the mercy of the devotees of the Lord. They're all sinful races. But they can all be delivered by the mercy of the powerful devotee of the Lord. Just like in Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna explains that even one may be of lower birth. He says, Mm those people who are accustomed to sinful activities and who are of a low birth and Lord Krishna mentions like women and sudras and vaishyas they can all be delivered by the mercy of the devote by the mercy of Lord Krishna Gitai Krishna Balchen Jada Amal Asrai Koren Jodio Nicho Jati Stri Suddha Vaisha Itari Ama Kripai Shab Panam Gati Lab Gottaparan. So sometimes people feel a little offended. Sometimes the ladies feel, why women, women, why we are sinful? Matri Gon Hotapare Ektu Karab Lagbe Shune J Stri Pap Joni. But it's not only the ladies, but it's practically everyone. Because in the Kali Yuga, everyone is on the level of Sudra and lower. Tobu kebo matro matrima, e college yuge, shabai, potit odom, shudra moto ebong shudra niche, shabai, college yuge. Nobody can claim I'm Brahmana by birth. Keu bolta parena ami jan mateke Brahmon. There are no some scars performed in the Kali Yuga. A Kali Yuga, shongshkar halavabe ayojan hotchena. So people, we are all low-born. She she karane amra shabai nicho jati jati. But we can all be delivered by the mercy of Krishna and his devotees. A Krishna prashad evang Krishna bhaktir prashad. Shabai Udhar Kora Shambhu. So this Srimad Bhagavatam gives all of us the, an opportunity to hear the glories of Lord Krishna. Evang Srimad Bhagavat Hache Amade Bhagavan Air Mohima Srabhan Kora Shubhidha. We know Srila Vyasa Dev compiled many literatures. He compiled, first of all, he'd had the four Vedas written down. Vyasmuni onek kichu granto ligachin pratame charti bed ligachin. Srila Vyasadev was a visionary. He could understand the future. Vyasadev hachin ek jan amoga drik drishti ebong bhavishat avasta oni dekta patin. He understood that in this Kali Yuga, p 
people will have very poor memories. Previously, people would hear the Vedas and they could remember everything. Now, we have very poor memories. We have very limited ability to remember. So, Srila Vyasa Dev had the Vedas written down for everyone. And then, to understand the Vedas, he compiled the supplements of the Vedas in the form of the Puranas. Shekharane Biasmuni Shab Bed Shastra Grantir Modde Likichin Tachara O Oni Puran O Likichin. So the Vedic knowledge is Shruti that is acquired by hearing. And the Puranas, they are the Smriti, it's more remembering. Bed Bed Shastra Char Bed Shastra Hoche Shruti Ebong Puran Shastra Hoche Sriti. But both are equally important. Actually, in the Kali Yuga, the Smriti is even more important than the Shruti. Dutto Obhai Guru Topono Tobu Kali Juge Sriti Shastra Puran Shastra Aro Guru Topono. By simply hearing Shruti, very difficult to understand the Absolute Truth. Kebal Matra Shruti Sravankara Madhame Param Tattva Upalabdi Kotin. Lord Brahma describes in his own Brahma Samhita, he says, Vedeshu Durlabham. Very difficult to know the Lord from the Vedas. Brahma Ji, Brahma Samhita Bolchen. But then Lord Brahma says, Adurlabam Atma Bhakto. Very easy to know the Lord by hearing from his devotees. Ebong Bhagawan er Bhaktar Kasteke Sravan Kora Madame Bhagawan Ke Kup Shahaj Babe Pawajai. So Srila Vyasadev compiled his Puranic literature. 18 Puranas, 6 for each of the modes of nature. Shejana Piasmuni Atero Puran Gronto Ligichin Tin to Bibag Potek Bibag Emode Choito Puran Tinta Shatta Rajagunir Onushare. And then he compiled also Mahabharata, which con contains the Bhagavad Gita. Tapor oni Mahabharat Ligachin Iti Modde Srimad Bhagavad Gita Rayache. Now within the Vedas, the Ishupan the Upanishads are all there within the Vedas, all the one hundred and eight Upanishads are contained. Be Bader Modde Ache Upanishad. So Srila Vyasadev had all of these literatures written down and the problem was, even after writing all of these things, he was not satisfied. Shamoshu chilo, piasmuni e shob gronto lika pore tokono oshantushtu chilin. And he'd also compiled Vedanta Sutra, which is based on logic or nyaya. Vedanta Sutra eta nyaya shastra. Speculate on the meaning of Vedanta. Ebong prochur gyanira munira jogira onera Vedanter shidhanto alochna koren kalpana bikalpana koren. So Srila Vyasa Dev wrote all of these books, but we know he was not satisfied, and it was then that his spiritual master. Narada Muni appeared to him. Ishav Granta Likachin Bias Muni 
Tabuo oni tokon ashan ashan tushto ebong shei shomoy onar guru dev sri narada ji obibutto hoyeche and it was narada muni who chastised shrila vyasa dev that you have simply encouraged the people in the path of material religiosity ebong narada muni vyas muni ke bokchen je tumi tader onu prerna korechen prakrito dharma palan korechonno material religion is based on four things we say dharma artha kama and moksha prakrito dharma e chartha mul bishoya che dharma artha kama moksha and the emphasis of course is on artha and kama economic development and sense gratification ebong pradan bepa hoche artonic unnato ebong indriya shuk so narada muni told shila vyasa dev that you've simply encouraged the people in this these things and narada ji bolachin vyas muni ke je ebabe ei dorner bishoy you have not properly emphasized the importance of devotional service. So in this way, Narada Muni implored Srila Vyasa Dev that you have to do better than this. You haven't done enough. এভাবে নারদ মুনি ব্যাসদেব কে উনি নির্দেশ করেছেন এই থেকে আরো ভালো করতে হবে as it is said in shilavansa dev records himself in shrimad bhagavatam in the first canto second chapter he said dharma svanustita pumsa vishwakshena kastastuya not padayat yadiratim shrama evahi kevalam the Srila Vyasa Deva is written and these words were then spoken by Sutta Goswami that duties executed by all men are only so much useless labor if they do not provoke attraction for the message of the Supreme Lord. Unibolchen J. Amade Karja Kalap Jari Bhagwan Sri Krishna Shantushti Bidhan kora na hoy tahale ei sob karya kalap shuru porisram in other words if one simply performs ritualistic activities he will not develop the attraction for the supreme lord jara keba matro karma kondo onushtan koren bhagwan er proti akarshon unnato hobe na in Bhagavad Gita, the path of fruitive activities is condemned by Lord Krishna. Gita, karma konda pote, Bhagwan Sri Krishna beshi guru tadinna. Lord Krishna has said in Bhagavad Gita, try gunya vishaya veda, nice try gunya bavarjuna. That the Vedas deal with the subject matter of the three modes of nature. Rise above the modes, O Arjuna. Gita Krishna Bolchen J. Bed Shastra Tingunair Shamonde A Tingun Teke Otikram Hau Arjun. It's not enough to simply try to maintain the mode of goodness. Keva Matra Shatagune Odishtito we have to transcend even the mode of goodness. You have to come to the pure, the level of Shuddha Sattva, pure goodness. Shatagune o otikram kore Shuddha Sattva shtore o dishtito hote hobe. Srila Prabhupada tells us one time, he said he went to the post office in New Delhi and he was discussing with the gentleman in the post office about why it's not enough to simply be in the mode of goodness. 
post office e giyechen ebong shekhane post office chakri lok shate uni alochana kochen keno shatogune odishtito hawa jotesto na the man in the post office was saying i'm a good person i never tell any lies i never steal from anybody what's the harm why i have to be religious she postman bolchen ami sob shomoy shotta kotha boli ami kokhono churi kore na dharma lagbe keno and shrila prabhupad explained to him you may say you are a good person but you're not always good prabhupad bolchen ha tumi bolte paro tumi bhalo tobo sob shomoy bhalo na Sometimes you try to be in the mode of goodness and other times you're influenced by the mode of passion and other times you're influenced by the mode of ignorance. Shotogone odishti to hote chesta koren tobo majhe majhe rajgone prabhave tomogone prabhave odishti to ho. You know you're trying to be nice you're trying to be good person but sometimes we get very attached to something the nature of the modes is such there's always competition between the modes amra chesta kochi ko bhalo lok hote tobo e raja tomogone prabhave amra amra obritto hoye jay majhe majhe sometimes passion conquers over goodness majhe majhe rajagun shatogone bijoy and sometimes ignorance conquers over goodness ebong majhe majhe tomogone o shatogone theke bijoy hoye jay we see people uh, in the morning they're in the mode of goodness they wake up and they take bath and they go out for a walk kichu lok ache nonara bhor belay uthe snan kore ebong bahire giye hete hete koren then they go to work they have to become passionate tapor office giye rajagun adishtito hon maybe they're driving their car and they get very passionate gari chalaite rajagun hoy or maybe you're rushing to get the bus you have to fight to get in the bus bus e seat power jonna jogra korte hoy Are you just trying to get a taxi just to call a cab and there's so many there's so many other people a taxi gari power jo na taxi re khub khote in onek log jogor hoy you get you we become passionate about this stuff shebabe shebabe rajagone odishtita ho and then in the evening the mode of ignorance comes sapo shondai belai tomogone prabhav you come home from work and you had a hard day and you just feel tired or you feel irritable office theke eshe klanto lagbe ba mon karab you have a bad day at the office and you come home and then the wife is complaining at you or the children are fighting and arguing the office office kaso karab ta pa basha giye stri sathe jogra chele me de au jogra kore and we become influenced by the mode of ignorance ebhabe thomogune prabhavito hoye jay people sometimes take to drinking alcohol mod kai watching bollywood movies cinema ga bollywood cinema dekhen gambling these different kinds of activities are all signs of the mode of ignorance ei shob dorne babaha tomogune lokhon but we're thinking i'm a good person i don't do any harm tobo amra babchi ami bhalo lok ami kono kichu karab kaj kori na we're controlled by the modes of nature tobo amra tin guner niyontrito prakriti kriyamanani gunai karmani sarvashaha ahankara vimud atma kartaham iti manyate the bewildered spirit soul under the influence of the material energy thinks himself to be the doer of activities 
which are actually carried out by the modes of nature. Che vibhumad atma ahankar prabhabe babchen shob kichu ami kochi prakrita phoke shob kichu kor hoche prakritir shakti madhyame under the material nature we are thinking ourselves to be the controller but Ma actually we are not maya prakritir prabhabe amra bhabchi ami shob kichu kochi tobo amra kochi na so we want to understand clearly our position the ebabe amade ashol obosto amra sposhto babe upalabdi doga so Srila Vyasadeva begins in his Srimad Bhagavatam with a wonderful invocation. Three verses are there to begin to, to describe to us the purpose of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Vyas Muni Bhagavate Pratam Tin Slok Kup Shposhtababe Amade Bujai Chen Bhagavater Uddesho. And he begins by first of all saying, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. I offer my respectful obeisances unto Lord Krishna, the son of Vasudeva. So Srila Vyasadeva had been instructed by Narada Muni that he had to do something better than what he had done in his 18 Puranas. Sri Narada Dev Vyas Muni ke Niddesh Korachin je age teke bed Puran leka ekon akichu shundor akichu uttum lekhao. And this gave us the, the mature contribution of Srila Vyasadeva. Ebabe Vyasadeva er pakka ono obodhan and that mature contribution is this Srimad Bhagavatam. And Srila Vyasadev describes in his invocation that the Srimad Bhagavatam is all about Lord Krishna. Vyasmuni Bhujai Chinche Bhagavat Shabkichu Bhagavan Si Krishna Shamonte. And Lord Krishna is described as the son of Vasudeva. Lord Krishna is also further described in the first sloka. Janmadyasyad yato navayad itarastas chartesu abhigyana swarat. That Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, is the cause of the material manifestation, its maintenance and annihilation. A Bhagavatam Pratam Shlok, born in Hoche J. She Basade Putra, Si Krishna, Hoche, Shtiti Pralaya, Itade, Shab Adi Karan. And it is Lord Sri Krishna who is a big yana. He is it's beyond the power of the, the senses to understand. Ebong Sri Krishna Hoche Joro Guner Madame Upalabdi Korajaina and Joro Indriya Madame. And he is also Swarat. He is independent. Ebong Swarat Oni Onake Kauke Niontran Kochina. We are not in that kind of category. Amra only Lord Krishna, the absolute truth, can be described as fully independent. Kebamatro Si Krishna Shamponababe Swarat. Then Sukadeva Goswami goes on to, to describe in the second verse how this Srimad Bhagavatam completely rejects all religion which are materially motivated. Tapo Ditya Shlok Biasmuni Janai Chin J Koitob Dharma Shabkichu Bhagavat Teke Nai. There are many religious processes throughout the world, different faiths, and generally we see that the practitioners of the different faiths all have some kind of material motivation. On ek bivinna shampradaya achen shara pritibi 
এবং আমরা দেখি সাধারণভাবে যারা পালন করেন তাদের ইচ্ছা ছিল জাগতিক সুখ উই অ্যাপ্রোচ দ্য সুপ্রিম লর্ড উইথ দ্য ব্যাগিং বিজনেস আমরা বিকা করছি শ্রীকৃষ্ণের কাছে বিকা করছি জাগতিক সুখের জন্য উই কাম টু দ্য লর্ড ইন উই আর সিং ও লর্ড আই লাভ ইউ আই লাভ ইউ বাট উই আর থিঙ্কিং ওয়ের ইজ দ্য মানি আমরা ভগবানের সামনে আসি আমরা প্রার্থনা করি তোমাকে ভালোবাসি তোমাকে খুব ভালোবাসি তবু আমরা ভাবছি থাকা থাকা কোথায় দ্যাট ইজ নট অফকোর্স দ্যাট ইজ নট দ্য জেনুয়ন প্রসেস অফ রিলিজন রাদার দ্যাট ইজ দ্য চিটিং রিলিজন এই হচ্ছে ফরম ধর্ম না ঐখান্তিক ধর্ম না ও হচ্ছে এই হচ্ছে কৈথব ধর্ম so this 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 kind of religion is completely rejected in shrimad bhagavatam ebong bhagavate ei dhorner dharma shompurno bhabe reject by those people those pe- who will, who will reject that kind of religion only those people who are free from envy ei ei dhorner prakruto dharma kk reject korben that jara হিংসা ছাড়া ব্যক্তিরা বুঝতে হবে কি করে শ্রীমদ ভাগবত হচ্ছে সমস্ত বেদ গ্রন্থের সার নাও even more and more today more and more the scholars are appreciating the supremacy of the shrimad bhagavatam bartaman kale bibhinna panditara o onera bujhte pachen bhagavater mohima bhagavater param stor that it is supreme not only in terms of the the po- poetry which is rendered there in the form of the wonderful grammar and the different literary ornaments ebabe onera pochondo karen bhagavate যে সুন্দরভাবে লেখা এবং অলঙ্কা ইত্যাদি খুব পছন্দ করেন পণ্ডিতেরা এবং দার্শনিক বিষয় খুব পছন্দ করেন নিশ্চয় আরো বহু গ্রন্থ আছেন তবু ওনারা ভগবতের মতো ফরম গ্রন্থ না সো ইট ইজ দ্য শ্রীমদ ভাগবতম ইজ কম্পেয়ার টু দ্য রাইপেন ফ্রুট অফ দ্য ভেদিক লিটারেচার এভাবে শ্রীমদ ভাগবতম তুলনা করছে বেদের পাকা ফলের মতো তুলনা দ্য বেদাস ইজ লাইক আ ট্রি এন্ড দ্য ভ্যালুয়েবল পার্ট অফ দ্য ট্রি is a fruit bed shastra hoche gacher moto brikhar moto ebong brike sobche mulloban ongsha hoche phol just like you may have some mango trees and if the mango what just like now at this time of the year mangoes are pretty much in season maybe season's almost over now but at this time with the mangoes in season the trees very valuable because of the fruit ashamoy goram khale am pawa jay am ashamoy ekon praishes hoye giyeche am ashamoy tobo ashamoy jokon gach gulo beshi am thake tokon gache khub mullaban mango leaves are also auspicious but they're not valuable you don't get a very big price for mango leaves in <laughs> the market am am gacher pata o khub bhalo tobo oigulo amer am am pholer moto na dam 
but the fruit from the tree that is very valuable am gacher phal ota khubi mulavan so this shrimad bhagavatam is compared to the fruit of all of the vedas ebabe shamashta bed shamashta beder phal bhagavater tulana ache and shila vyasadev describes how this fruit is very relishable ebong byashmuni bonana kochen ki babe e phal khub ashodan kote khub bhalo the good fruit will that we will see that we will want to have a lot of pulp the stone the seed should be small and the skin should be thin bhalo phal khub bhalo am hoche bij choto ebong bahere chamra khub batla ebong bitare rosh beshi we don't get pleasure from the skin and we don't get pleasure from the seed the bij ebong chamra beshi beshi anondo paina so the shrimad bhagavatam is described to be all relishable ebong bhagavat hoche shomoshta kichu kichu ashvadan kora shombhob and the good fruit will be easily digested fruit will be easily digested relishable because it has been spoken from it's come from the lips of shri shukadeva goswami ebong jeheto eta shukdev goswami shri mukh theke eta aro amritmoy shuka of course is the word for the parrot shuka mani shuka and when the parrot takes the fruit it knows which fruit is actually sweet and relishable shuk shuk paki ona da chinta paren kon phol khubi mishti ebong amrit moy if you get the fruit which has been touched by the lip that by the beak of the parrot you can know that must be very relishable very sweet tasty sweet tasty fruit je phol shuk sweet tasty fruit je phol Shuk paki ek tu kee che shape all nishchoy khubi mishti so we see how shrila vyasate very carefully explains the significance of the shrimad bhagavatam e babe amra dekhte pachi ki ki jotno kore byasmuni bhagavater gurutto bhagavater mohima bujiyechen and this is just in the very first three slokas of e, shrimad bhagavatam e e e hocche ke matro bhagavater protom protom tinta shlok matro so then in the first canto of shrimad bhagavatam where not yet we're not immediately introduced to sukadeva goswami and maharaj pariksha ebon sukadeva goswami purikit maharaj er kohina protom skonda ashena bhagavate although the main subject of shrimad bhagavatam the main content of shrimad bhagavatam comes in the discussions between sukadeva and maharaj pariksha it is later on that they are introduced bhagavate jodio bhagavate pradan kotha hoche shukdev ebong purikit shambhat ota protame ashena ota ditiyo skondai shuru hoy so initially we are we are introduced to the sages in the naimisharanya forest headed by shunakarishi and they're inquiring to sutta goswami e protame bhagavate amra deki naima sharanya rishigon ebong onara sutta goswami 
কাছে কিছু প্রশ্ন জিজ্ঞাস করেন the time was the coming to the beginning of kali yuga ei shomoy kali yuga er shuru shomoy and all the sages from throughout the planet had come there to naimisharanya which is situated at the hub of the universe ebon shomoy shara brahmand theke shara prithibi theke bibhinna muni rishira shekhane uposthit hoyeche the universe is imagined like a great wheel and the naimisharanya forest is situated at the hub of Eb that ebramando ebramande eta boro chakor moto ebong naimisharanya naimisharanya hoche ekdom maje it's, it's an important place of sacrifice shekane jogya ku guru to bona jogya sthan and all the sages had come there to perform sacrifice because they understood that we're coming to this kali yuga ebong shikane rishi munira uposthit chilen jogya kore jonna upalabdhi kore je ekon kali yuge shuru hoche coming to kali yuga they knew this is not really very auspicious time on an abuja change kali yuge beshi shumongol shomoy na this going to be the age of irreligion a kali yuge hoche adharmer shomoy shrila vyasa dev explains the qualities of people in the kali yuga ebong bias muni kali yuge der boshi gon lokhon bonana korchen prayena payusha sabya kalo vasmin yuge jana manda samanda matayo manda bhagya hi upadrutaha that in the kali yuga people will be endowed with a, a short duration of life kali yuga lochan alp ayur we know other ages for example satya yuga people lived 1 lakh 100000 years satya yuga lokjan ayur 1 lakh bochor then treta yuga the duration of life became 10000 years treta yuga manushter ayur 10000 bochor then dwapara yuga duration of life was reduced further to 1000 years ebong dwapara yuga aro kom manushter ayur matro 1000 bochor and we come to the kali yuga where the duration of life is 100 years ebon kali yuge manushter ayur hoche matro 100 bochor and as that kali yuga goes on the duration of life will be reduced more ebon, and more ebon joto joto din porjonto kali yuge thake toto din porjonto manushter ayur aro kom hoye jabe we will come to the point that at, by the end of kali yuga if you are 40 years old you're a very old person she antim shomoy jara 40 bochor hon lokjon bhabchen onara buri khubi buri but short life is not the only characteristic of kali yuga tobo alpa ayur kebo matro kali yuge lokkon na aro ache we're very lazy in the kali yuga kali yuge log jan khub ullosh we know how lazy people are sometimes they don't even want to chant hari krishna emon ullosh jo log jan hari krishna jap korte agrahi nai oh i don't i have no time i'm too busy আমার সময় নেই আমি অতিরিক্ত ব্যস্ত টু বিজি ইটিং এন্ড স্লিপিং অতিরিক্ত ব্যস্ত খাওয়া এবং ঘুমানো উই ডোন্ট হ্যাভ টাইম ফর দ্য ইম্পর্টেন্ট থিংস সেই গুরু তো পূর্ণ জিনিসের জন্য আমাদের সময় নাই সো উই আর লেজি উই আর মিসগাইডেড উই আর অফটেন গিভেন দ্য রং ডাইরেকশনস আমরা অলস এবং i'm 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 misguided misguided who is it people tell you oh yes you just work hard and make money your life will be success lokjan amade shikhan ha khub 
Prochesta Koren Kaz Korbe and the poor fellow works hard and makes money and he's miserable and he wonders why am I not happy everybody told me to work hard and make money and I'm miserable and then people say, well, get married, get married, have a family, you'll be happy. And then we get married and we have a family, we become more miserable. And we become more miserable. Wife is complaining, money is not enough, work harder, bring more. We have to send our children to America for education. We have to get our daughter married to the rich man. We'll need a lot of money for the dowry. So many pressures, so much anxiety. And the poor man is thinking, I just want a nice happy life. Why is it like this? What have I done wrong? Well, what did you do wrong? You did not inquire about the real purpose of life. No, I said, no, I inquired, I asked people, they all told me, work hard, make money. Ask, ask them, are they happy? Did they work hard and make money? Did they get happiness that way? Do you think it's so easy just to make money? Everyone's working hard. Does it mean everyone's making money? And everyone's happy, is it? No, we see actually hardly anyone is happy. Srila Prabhupada told us only two people are happy in this world. One is the fool and the other is the self-realized soul. Hmm. So, lazy, misguided, unlucky, we're unlucky, we're trying to get some luck, but we never get the luck we want. Real good fortune is described in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Ashal Bhagavan. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Madhya Bonano. And the Chaitanya Charitamrita it describes the good fortune of the living entity. Brahmanda Brahmite Kunya Bhagavan Jeev Guru Krishna Prasadi Pai Bhukti Lata Beach. We become fortunate when we contact the spiritual teachers who give us a seed of devotion in Chok the heart. Chokanamra am Amra Bhagavai. We want good fortune, that, that's a real good fortune when somebody introduces you to the process of bhakti yoga. Jokan keo amade bhagavad bhakti podoti porichoy din. But in general, for the mass of people, they're unlucky. And above all, they're always disturbed 
Nobody has peace of mind. We talk about peace, right? We go to temple and they will say, Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. We want peace. How to get peace? Shabai Shanti Chai Tobu Shanti Bawa Pontaki. Can you purchase peace in your bottle of alcohol? Modir Modir bottle and mod de Shanti Kinajai. Even in Chaitanya Bhagavat it is recorded how on one occasion Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Lord Nichananda were going to Shantipur to visit Advaita Acharya. Egba Sri Chaitanya Bhagavate. So on their way there, they happened to meet this one person who looked like a sannyasi. He had the saffron dress on, he had the big beard and the long hair. Boro dari boro chul lal kapor pot chilin. And they saw there was a house nearby where he was living. Dek chen dar pashe ek te griha chilo. And they saw there was a woman there. Ebon grihir mod de mohila chilo. So though he was dressed and they looked like a renounced person, at the same time they could understand there were some contradictions in the behavior. Jodi o oni shunnashi tiagi de. Poshak Potin on a Bujtaparichin Babahar Shanashi Tiagi Motona. So this Sanyasi met Lord Nityananda and Lord Chaitanya and he so said to them, said, Why don't we come and have why don't you come and have some happiness with me? The Shay Shanashi Nitananda Prabhu Ebong Chitana Mahabu Shonga Hoi Oni Bolchin Tomra Asho Grihe Amar Shate Kichu Ananda Babe. And Lord Chaitanya looked at Lord Nityananda and requested Lord Nityananda, what is he talking about? Lord Nityananda had been traveling many holy places. He'd had experience of people something like this. And Lord Nityananda told Lord Chaitanya, he wants us to go and drink some alcohol with him. No, Nityananda Prabhu Balachan, J. Babchi, Oni Chan, Amra, Ona, Shonge, Kichu, Maud, Kabo. And immediately Lord Chaitanya ran and dived in the Ganga and Shong swam down to Shanti. To Shonge, Shonge, Shune, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ganga, Maud, De, Dube, Oni, so even 500 years ago in the time of Mahaprabhu, these kind of people were there. And here we are today in this Kali Yuga and these problems are everywhere. We want peace of mind, but we're always disturbed. The solution to get peace of mind is not some material formula. It is not by any kind of uh, medicine, you just take this medicine, drink this or take that and you'll get happiness. People go to psychiatrists trying to get peace of mind. Psychiatrists, Dr. Okache, Lok John, Jan, Shanti Bawa Jonno. The psychiatrists have the highest rate of any profession in the world, there's more psychiatrists who commit suicide than in any other profession. 
ওদের সবচেয়ে বেশি সুইসাইড করেন the psychiatrists himself don't have peace of mind how can they give anyone else peace of mind ona ona de niche der mone shanti nei ki kore ona ne der mone shanti dite paren so in this way shila vyasa dev outlines the character of the people in the kali yuga ebabe vyasa dev kali yuga bashi gon lokon bonona koren and then we hear qualifications of a good audience to hear Kapar topics of spiritual knowledge amrashani j srotreda gun srotreda gun kiki because sutta goswami is going to speak to the sages so they have to be both qualified the sutta goswami oni muni rishi gone kache bhagavat kota alochana korben she jonna srotreda o me who has he is the son of romaharsha and suta name is shana shuta goshami romaharsha and er putra achen and suta goswami's qualification is he has heard shrimad bhagavatam from shukadeva goswami ebong shuta goshami shuta goshami adhika hache oni bhagavat shunichen Shuk Shukdev Goswami Kastha Shukadev Goswami heard Srimad Bhagavatam from his father Vyas Shukdev Goswami Nijer Baba Vyas Muni Kach Take Bhagavat Shunachin Vyas heard Srimad Bhagavatam from his guru Narada Muni Narada Muni heard from his father Brahma and Brahma heard from the supreme lord Shri Krishna Vyas Muni and Narada Muni Kach Take Shunachin শ্রী নারদা ব্রহ্মজি কাছ থেকে শুনেছেন এবং ব্রহ্মজি ভগবান শ্রীকৃষ্ণের কাছ থেকে শুনেছেন দিস নলেজ ইজ বিং ডেলিভার্ড থ্রু দ্য লাইন অফ দ্য ডিসিপ্লিক সাকসেস এভাবে সম্প্রদায়ের মাধ্যমে এই জ্ঞান পাওয়া যাচ্ছে সো সুত গোস্বামী হ্যাজ স্টাডিড দিস টপিকস অল দ্য ডিফারেন্ট সিক্স দার্শনস ফিলোসফিক্যাল সিস্টেমস এবং সুত গোস্বামী সমস্ত darshan adhyayan ko ten all right we have uh, karma mimamsa from uh, patan uh, karma mimamsa jaminis karma mimamsa philosophy you have the yoga sutras from patanjali you have nyaya from gotama you have vedanta from vyasa dev and you have also uh, Astavakra has presented also the theory of atomic uh, how life all originates from atoms the evavesa darshan hoy evang bibina all charge there ekta darshan likhen of course kapila sankhya philosophy is also there evang kapil muni shankhya darshan ache so sutta goswami studied all of these different darshans the different visions of the absolute ebong ei shat darshan shob kichu sutta goswami adhyayan korlen and that's why he'd been chosen to present this knowledge to speak shrimad bhagavatam to the sages in naimisharanya shei karone ninno ninno kor hoyeche sutta goswami naimisharanya rishi gan kache bhagavatam janaite how we doing on time for kote baje finish huh finish he saying lunch lunch for lunch yeah no oh, okay so we will stop here today <laughs> huh you want to take questions if there's any questions should you kind of push na at che not usually yeah <laughs> an audience like this a bit difficult to get questions there's a couple of questions
Okay, we'll continue tomorrow. Thank you very much. Oh, here's the question. Yes? Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Donald Pranam. Hare Krishna Maharaj Ji, Donald Pranam. Uh, thank you for this wonderful class. I got much enlightenment from this class, but I have a small doubt. Like you said that work hard and make money is not a good philosophy. But uh, in Bhagavad Gita, we see in the chapter 18, it is said that if we renounce our prescribed duty, then we are in mode of ignorance. So how to understand that what is, uh, just, it is like more endeavor for material things. What is that limit that how much we depend on Krishna's mercy and how much we should perform our duties like that? Prashna hache, Prashna hache, amra kato, kato nije karme janna kato kichu chesta kore uchit, among Bhagavan seva janna kato kichu chesta kore uchit, doya kore bolun. But we have to understand what is our duty. Duty is not just simply work hard and make money. Srimad Bhagavatam says, don't become a mother and father unless you can deliver your children from birth and death. Don't become a husband unless you can deliver your wife from birth and death. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say work hard and make money. Of course, you have to, you have, we all have to work. Everyone has to work. We don't say give up work. But that is not the goal of life. There's more to life than just working hard and making money. Prabhupada used to quote a Christian philosopher who said, What does a man profit if he gain the whole world but lose his eternal soul? Right? If you lose your, if your soul goes to hell, you may, you know, the, who were, who, there were so many rich men <laughs> and you, they, they die, where do they go? Yeah. Do they, do you think that life is successful? No, the, the duty of life is to awaken our proper consciousness. Yeah, we, we all work. We don't encourage people to be idle. But it's not just simply work to make money only to fill the belly. That's not the only problem of life. The real problem of life is birth and death. If you're going to die and become a dog in your next life, is that a success? We have to consider the situation very carefully. So your question is very nice, it's very thoughtful. Thank you very Prashna, much. Prashna to Bhalo Heche. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. There's one more question. <laughs> Here we go. Hare Krishna Prabhu, Dhanavad Pranam. Hare Krishna. Prabhu, I'm Bangla, I'm Bolchi, I'm Nidhi Parvona. Yeah, Anubad. I'm Jeta Janti Jaiji Jai, Bhagavad Katha, when Abhi Jeta Bolen, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Muktege, Eta SJ, we will know Guru Param Param Adhome.
Naste Nishvala Mata. If you have a mantra which is coming, which is not received through parampara, it will not give any fruit. Jodi mantra parampara madame na pai. She mantra mantra ucharon er pol pavena. And in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna also describes one of the reasons for his appearance was to re-establish the parampara. Because yoga nashta parantapa, the knowledge was lost in the course of time. Gita gyan eta hari gi che shamoy kaler prabhabe. Knowledge lost means it was changed. People didn't properly keep the purity of the knowledge. Concocted everything, changed it all. So the Lord came again. আমার আরেকটা প্রশ্ন এর সঙ্গেই ছিল যে কেউ যখন বাড়িতে আমরা টিভি দেখি তখন এখন যেমন বসে আছি ভালোভাবে শুদ্ধভাবে তিলক করে ওইভাবে তো বসে থাকি না সাধারণভাবে বিছানায় বসে আমরা টেলিভিশন দেখি এবং সেখানে ভাগবত কথা শুনলে কি কোনো অপরাধ হবে ইজ ইট এন অফেন্স টু হিয়ার দ্য ডেসক্রিপ দ্য 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 লেকচার অন দ্য টিভি এন্ড নট কাম ইন পারসন এন্ড সিট টু হিয়ার দ্য লেকচার ব্যাট দ্য সেম লেকচার no, not the same. Is it an offence not to come but to just sit at home and listen? Well, you'll get more benefit if you come and sit and listen. Jodi Ashen, Shadu Shongar Modde, Bhagavat Kota Shaban Gorian, Paul Arobeshi Paben. You may be sitting at home, but at home you cannot inquire like you're doing just now. Jemon Ajke Abni Prashna Jigash Kochen, Bari Teke, TV Madame Deka. You may be sitting at home and have so many questions and doubts, but you cannot ask these questions if you're sitting at home. But because you made the effort to come here today, you're asking. So yes, personal presence is better. The Ebabe Shokat Babe Shonga Aro Onik Bhalo. Amra Pujapad Bhakti Vigvanasha Narashima Maharaj Kay Onik Dandava Janai Maharaja Gamekalo Pashti Takpen Shabai Nimontrito Harikishno.